The Boys Mentoring Advocacy Network hosted the ambassador Joshua Beckford and his father Knox Daniel, who were visiting from the United Kingdom at the main auditorium, University of Lagos. As part of the itinerary of their trip, Joshua and his father had been to Kaduna to launch and raise funds for an ultra modern secondary school to be named after Joshua Beckford. The objective behind this was to reverse the cycle and effect of violence in this area that had led to about 350 children being out of school since 2011. The focus of this event was the launching of the book Beyond Limits, a compilation of research and findings by Knox Daniel in the journey of Joshua's life and the proceeds of the book would go towards building the school. Welcome a shining star, a genius, worthy example to young people, and the ambassador of B-Man for Nigeria, Joshua Bedford, and his father, Knox Daniel, to our beloved nation, Nigeria. I urge all young people here present to pay undivided attention, as I believe you have a lot to learn and benefit from this summit. This event features the launch of a book titled Beyond Limits, which was co-authored by Joshua Bedford and his father, Mark Daniel. I understand the book provides an insight into the cherished lifetime of Joshua and his father, and as though the content is mostly inspirational, it challenges the reader to think deep and hard, so they realize that whatever circumstances of birth and life one finds itself, one can still move beyond limits. The partnership that has now been established between the Beeman Foundation, the Lagos State Government, and Kaduna State will actually take us further in our learning to embrace diversity and to live peacefully with one another. I am sure that after today we will all be happy that we shared in this experience and that we have contributed to humanity in one way or the other, either through education or through simply rebuilding structures that have been destroyed by angry people and sometimes needlessly so. In all my journey, I found that in every religion, what they tend to teach is how to live. Every religion. So we view that as the pillars of demon. Means, how do I live? And this is what the four pillars will teach the boys. Number one, the word air in live means we must love. Maybe 50 or 60 years from now, it will not matter the kind of house we live in, the kind of cars we drove, how far our bank account were, or the kind of shoes we put on. What will truly matter? is that we touch the life of an individual and that life is touching other lives. Did you know that your life is like a movie? Each of you is the director of your own unique story. Each of you are already a winner because you made it here by being born. The future is not fixed. You can change the future by the choices you make. Some bad things will happen to everyone. How you react to what happens to you is the most important thing in life. Develop a positive mental attitude rather than a negative attitude. Your thoughts create your reality. It takes the same energy to think positively as it does to think negatively. You must always visualize what you want to achieve. Always write down your goals and look at them each day. Ask yourself, what can I do today that will bring me closer to my goal? Thank you for enabling my dad and I to come home to Nigeria. And lastly, I want to thank everyone for welcoming me into this country. And I want to thank Ola Kinri for inviting me to be the ambassador for B-Man. Thank you. On behalf of um, my Excellency, Arakuri, Oluwaroti, the executive governor of Ondo State, 
I present this uh, award certificate to Joshua Bedford on behalf of Pitman and uh, as a support ambassador uh, to Nigeria, Ghana, and some other African countries. Thank you, congratulations. Everyone, you came here and welcomed me, and um, there's so much to say, but um, I can't thank um, everyone enough. Encourage our young ones to make sure we take care of our children, to make sure we educate them, to make sure we unnerve all their gifts, their talents, to make sure we do not put them down anything. Whatever they show interesting, we should encourage them. Seeing a young man who has uh, excelled even himself, it's something that gives hope to people who have lost hope that anything can be done. So I think it is very exciting for us and um, I pray that uh, starting this initiative in Kaduna will make the whole of Nigeria and even beyond realize that there is great potential in having children teenagers and everybody educated because that is the basis for our human capital development. We see that uh, no boy was born bad, no boy was born uh, evil. Uh, it's usually as a result of gaps and lapses from the society and all that. That's what makes the bad boys. Yeah, so that's what we're here to do, to bridge that gap, to provide uh, positive role models for the boys. And what we want to see is that we want to see that those 350 uh, students who are not going to school since 2011 are back to school. They have a hope of going back to school so that they can get uh, education. Like my belief is education is the only social element that if improved upon always increases the quality of human life. And uh, no family can truly be educated unless, I mean truly develop, unless their children are educated. 